What's up, y'all? Don't buy them fake bullet hole stickers. If you want to rip like your car's been shot at, actually shoot your car. I'm going to show you how to do that here today. I got the first step for you. What we got to do is we got to take the door off of the car. Why do we do this? Because it's easier to move the door to a safe shooting location. Next step that we got to do is we got to take the trim panel off of the inside of the door. The reason we're taking the inside panel off is because while bullet holes may look good on the outside, bullet holes definitely don't look good on the inside. And we're trying to stay a little bit classy around here. This is how you take off your door panel. All right, so now we can see inside of our door. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna look and get around in here and find the spots where we can shoot without damaging any of the mechanisms. This spot above the inside door handle should work just fine. This whole area, as long as we don't hit this, should work just fine. And for spacing reasons, we're gonna come down here. I don't see anything that should get too damaged by a bullet going through it. We're gonna shoot right here. All right, so we're gonna try to transcribe our safe to shoot spots at. Right here will be a good spot. Then we got our big open area here. So we wanna be as close to the bar, uh, give the appearance that our shot was purposefully aimed at the door handle here. Right about here. You know what? I don't really like marking down here, okay? If you're aiming at the window, I think we should be safe shooting right here. That gives it a nice trail of following along. We got our door marked. I'm using a dry erase marker here. Other thing to remember, put your windows up. I'm going to be firing at the door from a distance of about six yards. That's a, that's a respectable curb length, you know, someone standing on the side of the road. We're going to fire three shots into it. We'll have our decals done. That looks good. Dude, the difference between those and that is phenomenal. So this is the 44 Magnum hole. You can see what the bullet did there as it was coming into contact with the metal. This is the 9 millimeter hole. You got flecking it off. A 7.62 by 54R hole out of the Mosin there. We got a clean thing right here. Uh, missing the thing. 9 millimeter coming out there. And then we don't actually have a hole found the, the 44 bullet it's awesome all right so now that we got the holes in the panel here we need to clean up the panel and so we're going to take our dry erase marker and look at that i'd say that's a respectable pattern quite the uh, addition to your car all right so we're going to put our door panel back on the door here we're going to do just look at that so we have accomplished all we set out to do tonight. We got the three bullet holes in our door. We got our door panel back on the door. So we're gonna put the car door back on at a later date. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my channel for other useful videos. See you next time.